Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Sagittarius. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. All right, so we have, okay, ooh, the stars. We have Aquarius energy. We have money focus. We have, let's move these over. We have cannot be trusted. One eleven on the camera. We have nine of cups. Clarify the star. The six of swords. Things are about to get better for you. Or it could be within this situation, but something is about to get better. Spirit says the worst is over. Things are going to be getting better from here. Better times are ahead. Some of you guys can be healing and you're ready to move on from something. Tell me about the money focus card. We have the page of cups. Mm. Okay. I don't know. I feel like you guys, this doesn't, this already is not sitting right with me. Yeah, I'm a magician. See, somebody may be wanting, this person may be wanting to manifest something with you for the wrong reasons. I don't like that. Tell me about the Nine of Cups manifesting you. Somebody it does want you back into their life or they are trying to manifest you or wishing for you or view you as wish fulfillment. But what is this energy? What is this? Is this somebody coming towards them to try to use them? Because that's what I'm kind of getting. We have the devil. Ooh, obsession. Yeah, Capricorn energy. What about the devil? The forbidden. Why forbidden? Straight. Taming emotions. Somebody's obsessed with you. Yeah, somebody's obsessed with you, but they've been trying to like <sighs> tame these feelings that they have for you or these emotions or whatever. They've been trying to tame this. They feel like you're forbidden. Why? They feel like you're the forbidden fruit. What about Hanged Man, the Awakening? They feel like, oh, they're seeing something differently now. Their perspective is changing on you. In what way? Because they've been maybe going through the dark night of the soul. Whatever this perspective change is that they're having is making them want to reunite with you. How are they viewing my collective? Yeah, the Ace of Swords. There's, they've gained some type of clarity that what? Yeah, they were in some type of illusion. Or they were uncertain about you, Pisces energy with the moon. But they, they've gained some type of clarity. See, the oh. What about healing? Death. Somebody's changing. Somebody's healing. As someone heals, their perspective is changing. Oh, somebody's going to want to get back together with you. As they heal, their perspective is going to change on you. You know, like, as you heal, the things that you once liked or you were interested in, they just, it's not the same anymore. You know what I mean? And it's, like, almost like this person's, like, outgrowing things that they used to be interested in or want, and you're looking more appealing to them than you did before. But what is this cannot be trusted energy? Clean up, okay, but what about the two of cups? This is somebody that maybe had a, they, they are very money focused or they made a lot of false promises to you. But I feel like this person is actually getting their life together with the, to be able to have a relationship with you because they do feel such a strong connection to you. What about money focused? We have king of swords and yeah, the full, what about the full judgment? Oop. Scorpio energy. We have Aquarius energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius tower. For some of you, they chose money over love, okay, in some situation. Yeah, they maybe chose another situation over you, but for the wrong reasons. And uh, they ran right into some karma here. A tower moment. What is this tower? Four of wands? What about the four of wands? The three of swords. They could have gotten into a marriage or a commitment or something and it blew up. Yeah. Internal conflict, but why are they in eternal conflict? What's the T? They don't know what's going on here. Yeah, high princess, page of pentacles. Somebody's curious to know what's going on with you, and their intuition is telling them to just reach out to you and ask. But why are they they're scared? Are they scared or they think it's gonna maybe cause a conflict or that they're gonna have to fight for you or something like that? I don't rip the part ace of cups. They have a lot of feelings and emotions for you. Yeah, they want to move something forward. Yeah, they may come in and start trying to fight for you. But two of pentacles, though. But two of pentacles. What a catch. I saw that when I was shuffling. This person kept you waiting. They kept you waiting. They, 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 were, they were, like, maybe keeping their options open. They weren't sure about you. Yeah, they were in a player-type energy, a lustful energy. They knew you were a catch. They knew you were a high value person. They knew that you were 
this Empress Emperor energy and they kept you waiting while they were juggling. They maybe tried to juggle this other situation that they were holding on to for financial reasons. Tell me more. We have the Seven of Pentacles, but now they're thinking about the long term. What about children? Ten of Wands. Somebody feels like they can't do everything by themselves or something like that. I'm going to be honest with you. Somebody's starting to feel like they can't handle. Like, just say they have kids. Like, almost like this person views you as somebody that they feel like. I'm not saying that they're. I'm not saying that they um are just trying to use you to like take care of their kids or whatever, but it's almost like they view you as somebody that they can, you guys can team up and be a family. And like, it's almost like they're struggling. They feel very burdened by the responsibility. Like, and it has something to do with children. For some of you, it could be that they have to pay child support with the money focus card coming out. Maybe they feel like they can't afford to pay like all their bills and pay their child support. What are their intentions for my collective? The fool. They want a new beginning with you. Yeah. Aquarius energy. They do have a lot of feelings for you. Yeah, they do have a lot of feelings for you. They want to be vulnerable with you. Yeah, the two of cups. This person wants to be with you. So what are they going to do? Ooh, the three of swords, though. Maybe they're ending a set. Oh, they're ending something. They're, they're, they're breaking up with somebody. Yeah. Yeah, ten of, what about the Ten of Cups? A family situation to it. Yeah. They were trying to juggle you in some type of like family situation or something like that. So they're ending this other situation now? It's almost like they wanted to keep you on the back burner until they decided that they felt they were ready to leave this other situation. Why were they so apprehensive about leaving the other situation? Mm. They were confused about something. For some of you, they just had a lot of freaking choices. What is the wishing card? The Knight of Cups. Blessings. Wishing for what? There was something that they couldn't let go of that was causing them a lot of stress. What is that? What is it that they couldn't let go of? They were unawakened to this connection with you, but what were they struggling with letting go of, Spirit? Or were they thinking that somebody was going to come back to them? Yeah, or... They just didn't know what they wanted. Say the Eight of Wands. Forbidden. Why forbidden? Page of Wands. What is forbidden about the situation, Spirit? Hmm. Let's see. Um, I might come back to that in a second. What is going on here? Tell me about the forbidden aspect. What is the forbidden aspect? See, comparing options. Yep, difficult choice, many options. Why? Genuine apology. Oh, so this person feels like you may be forbidden fruit now because that you guys came into some type of awareness that they were they were trying to make you an option. They know that you know. And now they don't think that you're gonna let them come back. Like they are regretful of trying to make you regretful for me trying to put you in like competition. They want to apologize to you, but I think this person doesn't think you're going to take them back. Yeah, but see, what is this about children involved? Wants or has children or immaturity? Yeah, it could just be that this person's immature. Or, see, no, they chose a situation. So what this person needs to explain to you is what was really going on. They were trying to juggle. It's almost like they were in this other situation and then they suddenly met you and then everything got complicated. They weren't expecting to meet somebody like you. I do feel like this person had more of them. Like they, they may have one person that they're in a family situation with, but to have found you, they had to have been cheating or they had to have been entertaining more than one person. So, or it could have been a situation where you guys were like, just like coworkers or something like that. And then somehow feelings were caught. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. But 
they were staying in a situation because of children and something to do with finances, but it's almost like they felt like they had no choice but to stay in that situation. It's almost like, I don't think that they have children with this person. They could be, for some of you, have children with this person, but what I'm more so getting is something to do with money. Like, they have to pay child support. They can't afford all their bills. Like, they can't do it by themselves. Like, they feel very burdened by something. They can't take care of their kids by themselves or something like that. And I feel like they were hesitant when it came to you. Yeah, they're obsessed with you. I've said that. Strong attachment, to, strong attachment, fixated thinking. But I feel like this person is skeptical. Like, they're unsure. They're hesitant. Why? Tell me more. Because they're just a control freak. Yeah, they just are a control freak. They also know that they're going to have to make some lifestyle changes and remove some things and people from their life to be with you. They're going to have to end a relationship. But didn't I say the, the worst is over? Happy times ahead. Successful outcome all as well. So in what way? Happy times ahead in what way, Spirit? See, what about that baggage that they've been holding on to? Friendly love. Yeah, it was like some type of like situation where either they don't love that person, but that person loves them or vice versa. Or it's like a platonic relationship. For some of you, they need to release some family members or friends. Um, yeah, it needs a lot of, what does it say, work, living in the past. Tell me more about that. Friendly love. Grass is greener. See? Hard to please looking for better. Why were they looking for better than you? That's what I don't understand. No contact. Why did they, why is grass is greener here? Can't be trusted. That already came out. Hidden agenda lies. So they thought maybe some of that, they chose like somebody over you. That would be, oh, that's weird, guys. They chose somebody over you that they couldn't even trust. What about can't be trusted? Fate or destiny that what? Trying to score. See, yeah, purely sexual, no serious intentions. So they could have chose somebody over you that was okay with being like a side piece or something like that. I don't know. And they ran right into some karma. Yeah, they were trying to avoid and escape. They were trying to face reality, not face reality. Um, they were avoiding being an escapist. Trying to give you something solid. Why? But they, it's like they've been waiting to hear from you, though. It's like they ran from you, but they also have been hoping to hear from you. Wow. What about fleeting romance? Love bombing. See, somebody love bombed them or they love bombed somebody, but it didn't last. Like that, that quickly faded. That it quickly ended. Stuck between two. They could have been stuck in between somebody that like love bombs them and then it doesn't. Sorry, guys. It doesn't last. Does that make sense? Like somebody makes them all these promises or something like that. And then they switch up on them and then they get confused between you or this person, but you're going to hear from them. I'm not quite sure what's going on here yet. I need to get more clarity because I'm like, hmm, what is this? Um, So we have innocence. Your innocence and kind heart makes them them love you, but feel they must push you away to protect them from themselves, protect you from themselves. Release. So they did let you go, but they as soon as they let you go, they felt like a void. New, see, there's that new perspective. They've gained a new perspective and now see how they failed you by their own sabotaging behavior. See, now you're kind of like standing your ground. You're holding back just as much as they hold back. They can't stop. I'm telling you, this person is obsessing over you. They can't stop thinking about you. They're dreaming about you. They're thinking about you being with another person. They're thinking about how they hurt you. Tell me more. The God, see, I'm telling you, things are shifting in your favor in a situation and just in life in general. It says, now is the time your prayers have been heard. You will succeed and be vindicated. Tell me more. Watching you. Somebody's keeping tabs on you and they're seeing you. Good things come in for you. I was kind of getting that. With the nine of cups. I don't like those types of people that see things going well for you. And then they want to come back. Be careful of somebody trying to spin the block when they see you doing well. 
without them. When they chose a situation, they chose a situation for the wrong reasons. They're not happy over there, but they see you doing well without them and now they want to come back. They've been watching your social media to see what you post and get clues to how to approach you. Tell me more on a pedestal. Yeah, they don't feel good enough for you. You're the queen of their, it's almost like they don't feel like somebody like you could truly want them or love them or something like that. You're the queen of their heart, the queen of their fiercely guarded castle. It's only fear that makes them run. Taming the bees. They know that they can't play with you. You made them putty in your hands. They know their old conquering ways will not work with you. See, what about awakening? Boundaries. So something about you guys setting, this, setting boundaries and not letting this person walk on you anymore is making them realize something. They love that you set strong boundaries for yourself and walk away from those who don't respect them, including them. So you have no problem being without this person. Um, if they're not giving you what you deserve and yeah, you, you guys have a strong energetic connection with this person. Obviously you guys are twins. So now what you set these boundaries, they're going through an awakening process, a healing process. Music could be, um, significant to your connection and we have unspoken love. They've always had these feelings and emotions for you, but they've never told you. They're very intimidated by you. They feel like you're too attractive for them. They feel like you're too established for them. You're too, you make more money than there's something that and it's intimidating about you to this person but they've been waiting for you to come back towards them they're like over there grieving you obsessing over you but not making any moves towards you hoping that you reach out to them why because they don't want to be the one that uh, how do i put this they don't they're emotionally unavailable and they don't want to be the one to extend the olive branch they don't want to be the one to put themselves out there yeah but I feel like they're starting to discover that you're not coming back or something like that. Tell me about why are they um, just watching and not saying anything, spirit? They're going to say something. It says you can expect some kind of gesture to help strengthen your connection, give them a chance to prove themselves. Why? What are they going to be talking about with this gesture? See, what are they not expecting? Game over. See, they may try to come in with something small or test the waters with you, and you guys are not playing with them. And they're not going to be expecting the reaction that they get from you or your lack of reaction, whatever, whichever one it is. They fear your wrath. They know you're no longer entertaining their half-hearted efforts. So, yeah, we have twin flame. We do know this is a twin flame connection. But it's hard for them to stay away from you. It's almost like they're afraid of like what your reaction will be, but it's like it's hard for them to stay away from you. So eventually they're, they're going to cave and reach out to you. They just, yeah, they do feel like you're too good to be true, but you're going to hear from them. Yeah. They think this kind of love only happens in fairy tale stories because to them, you are too perfect to believe it's true. Yeah. They want to message you and explain everything to you, but they know they have to do right by you. Yeah. It's like somebody's realizing that you're not going to put up with the bullshit anymore. So if they want to even, for you to even give them the time of day, they're going to have to come towards you. Correct. I don't know if this is something that they've already realized or it's something that they will realize after they come towards you and they try to, you know, play you for a fool. But I don't know. We have tower moments. See, what is this? There's about to be a tower moment in this situation. Changes that are difficult but necessary for growth. Moments in life that push us to be better and do better because we deserve better. Yeah, we have tel telepathic. I feel you through everything. The things I touch, the images I see, the voices I hear. We are connected throughout the universe. And even if we are miles apart. Tell me more. We have, okay. See, there's a really, like... I feel you are my equal. You make me want to be a better person, not just for you, but also for myself. You challenge me to change and to grow. When I'm with you, I feel as if time just stops. It's just me and you against the world. You feel like home to me. You understand me and I understand you. So what is the tower moment? I've been working on my self-worth and I am recognizing the issues that have been holding me back. I'm trying to heal myself by loving myself first. So is your self-love a tower moment for this person? The fact that like you're no longer, tell me more, forgiveness. Somebody's coming in and asking for your forgiveness and they're being deceitful and you love yourself enough now to not. So that's what's going to make this person, like you guys have leveled up. That's probably what I'm naming this for you. You've leveled up. And what you used to go for before, you're not going for it anymore. You're no longer ignoring your intuition. You're going with your gut. And this is going to be a tower moment for this person because they're coming towards you trying to be deceitful. Yep, saying that they want to manifest something with you. They do want you. The feelings are mutual. Yeah, actions does not match their words. Living a lie will admit, to, admit it to themselves. 
pretends their feelings for you does not exist and is dismissive of you. So they're coming towards you in this facade energy, like kind of one coming in and, and saying sorry about something, but also still hiding some things from you. And I feel like you guys are in this energy of self-love. Yeah, and you just, mm -mm. nope. And they're going to be playing the victim. Yeah, they're going to be playing the victim. Yep. Yes, we know again, this is a twin flame. It says, I just can't. I'm feeling hopeless, hopeless and helpless. There is nothing I can do. Life is what it is. And we just have to accept our circumstances. What? Deny. See, they're still in this energy life where they're wanting to deny their feelings for you. They're playing the victim, trying to act like they didn't do anything wrong. I realize there's something between us, but I do not have the time or the capacity to understand it. Everything is too much too soon. I have other things I need to deal with. So why are they coming toward you then? For They're coming towards you for a new beginning. But this is the energy that they're in, guys. This is why Sirius says you cannot trust this person. They're, that's two different conflicting things. You can't want a new beginning and also want to deny the connection, not want to surrender to it, play the victim. We need to let go of our issues and work throughout through our struggles by recognizing what went wrong and how we played a part in it. I love you too much to let you go. Let's start anew. It's almost like this person wants to come back without really taking full accountability for some things. And I feel like you guys don't, they're going to end up maybe getting ghosted. Like you guys are going to disappear on their ass or something like that. Or they may even end up ghosting you again because they have a lot of turmoil in their life. So that's what I was saying. They may come in and love bomb you, but they're going to be gone as, as fast as they came in. They're just, why are they doing this to you? Why are they doing this spirit? I wasn't always there when you needed me the most. Instead of trying to comfort you, I would jump shit because I couldn't deal with my own emotions, let alone yours. So that's what it is. They, when they feel like they're starting to feel too much or they feel like you're starting to express too much emotion to them, they're going to leave. So it's bad. And they have like so much going on in their life that they don't even have the, the time or the space, the capacity to try to initiate a new beginning with you. They do feel something significant for you, but they're not healed enough to be able to accept these feel like to accept this connection and to, to accept this genuine love and connection that the two of you have, like, they're not ready for it. They may, I, like, I do see genuine, like, feelings and emotions, but they're not healed enough for it. Yeah, it says unable to conflict, confront feelings or what they are feeling. Wants to avoid conflicts, explanation, and self-introspection. They're not ready to even face some things about themselves. Convenient to run instead of facing other person's reactions. So, yeah, they're still very much in their ego, my pride and ego held me back and stopped me from being my true authentic self. I'm afraid you'll reject me because I fear I'm not good enough for you. My self-confidence was just a facade. Yep. And we have outer turmoil. I feel my life is falling apart and I don't know what to do. Whatever can go wrong has gone wrong. But the one thing that felt right was you. So, yeah. 